More music. Better mental health. Only on IPL Radio. That's right. You're listening to IPL Radio and it's Mish on Good Vibrations this afternoon. I've got Mo co-hosting with me. Hello again. And we're on uh, video as well so we can wave to everybody because we're Hello. Actually, so we'll be able to release this eventually. Um, so Mo's in uh, co-hosting with me because you've got a show starting on Saturday. You just want to get some tips on, in, uh, on interviewing. Absolutely. Well, I'm not so sure that you'll get many tips from me, but anyway, we'll give it a go. Well, maybe not tips, but just the practice run. Sure, if you sure. Like, maybe I could ask him some questions as well. Sure, sure. And I've got Al. Al's in with me. I always love having Al in. Nice, uh, nice to, meet to you, see Al. you. Hello. You can call Hello. me Al. Yeah. You can um, call me Al. I wanted to talk to you firstly. I went to one of your sound immersion immersions. Yes. Right. First time I've ever ever been. Mhm. Never been to anything like that ever before. I love it when people do it. First, yeah, though. and I was very nervous about walking in the door, but as soon as I walked in the door, someone said, "Oh, you're Mish from IPL." I, that happens a lot to me, which is great. So it was nice because I was well. I felt welcomed and I didn't feel so isolated because someone knew who I was. And I knew you anyway. And we were half an hour early, which I wasn't. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Poor I was getting stressed out because microphones weren't working. No, or there was something going on. I had technical difficulties. Yeah, like and there's nothing believe. worse than that. There's <laughs> nothing worse than that. So anyway, I walked in the door. I'm just going to give you a run through how, how my day went or how my immersion went. Walked through the door. I set up my little um, Betty thing. So I had a little... Um, uh, yoga mat. Then I put um, one of those fluffy bath mats over the top. Then I put a blanket. I had a pillow and I had another blanket to put over top of me. And then I was that early that the lady who met me at the door and I went for a nice walk along Safety Bay. It was so beautiful along there. So mm. beautiful. And it was the, the day was fantastic. So I had a bit of a fresh air walk for about half an hour, went back in, and then it began. Now, oh, as I said, I didn't know what to expect. There was many different instruments being used. Uh, there was sand bowls, is that what you call them? There was crystal, crystal sand bowls. Crystal yeah. sand bowls. And you with Donna, by the way. Yes. Sorry, Donna. Um, crystal sand bowls. There was um, a drum. There was you playing guitar and singing. There was a rain stick, which I'll talk about that later because I made one. <laughs> And then, um, was there anything else? But, oh, uh, chime, charm, chimes. Uh, chimes, Native American flute. Oh, I love drum. that. I love the Native yeah. American flute. So I think that was about it. And a meditation while while playing guitar. Yeah. yeah. So so we were listening to all this going on for it would be a good an hour and a half. Yeah. But particularly, I was very relaxed and I was very comfortable being I'm literally on the floor, which I don't normally lay on the floor, but that, that was okay. Very relaxed, very comfortable, listening to all this going on around me. And you you were walking around us while you were playing this sort of stuff as well, weren't you? Mm, healing bowls as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah healing bowls, that's right. Um, and it's funny because when, when you came near to me, you felt the vibration through the floor, you felt the vibration through your body and even into your mind. Mm. And that's the whole thing, right? We're talking that's about vibration. vibration. So I, fe- I felt that. Now, when you were singing a particular song – which is something about you will be loved or... Yes, a beautiful song called In Dreams. Yeah, yeah so I started to cry. It just came from nowhere and I had tears running down my face. I, was, I know what I was crying about because it touched me in a certain way, but I did not think that I would react in that way at all. So I was really surprised that that happened to me. Yeah, honestly, and it, I felt... I'm hoping it was a release don't think it was. Maybe I need to do it more times. It was a release at that moment, I think, because I was mm-hmm. in realization of, of this issue that I'm going on, going through that I don't want. To, I'm not going to discuss. But the tears just was rolling down my face. It was just really strange, and I absolutely loved it. And I've got to tell you that I did peek at it because I had a, a face mask on because I didn't want to see the light. I did peek under because I was wondering what that noise was. What the, the Donna was doing it was the rain stick. I loved that rain stick. Mm. So I went out. I went out and made myself one. I have to bring it in next time. It's, it's awesome. Yep. Nowhere near as good as hers. Just a roll of um, cardboard. You've really got to do it in wood because it, it, the sound goes off of the wood. It would be fantastic. So the rain sticks, is that the ones with the little bells on it? Or? No, it's got um, – it's got. Um, well, for mine, it's got pasta, <laughs> dry pasta in it. <laughs> it's got stones in it. It's got dry rice in it. And when it runs through it, 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 it because you put things in it to stop it from rolling straight down, it, it just makes this – to me, it sounded like the ocean washing up onto rocks. That type. Mm. I've, I've, to me, it felt like the ocean, I not think so I much know the what rain. You're talking right? about now, anyway. It's like a cylinder. It's a cylinder. It's you just roll it like this. I'll bring yeah. it in for you, Mo. Yeah. 
But um, I love that. I, I did peak for that. Um, yeah, I just, I, it was really strong. But when, I fi- when we finished and then we picked up some um, tarot cards off the floor, we were able to pick up a couple of cards off the floor. Like I just picked out ones that I thought, okay, we'll just pick that one up. And it really was very um, – it hit home. They were very me. Uh, both the of them, of the universe, both eh? of them, right? <laughs> both of them, and they're very linked as well. Those yeah. two cars are very linked, and they were from yeah. two pack, two different packs, yeah. on the floor, scattered on the floor, two cars. So it was a weird day for me because mm. <laughs> this is just something I just don't experience, right? Anyway, when I left there, I was really tired, and I don't know whether it's because I was really relaxed. The rest of the day, I was done. Mm. I really should have gone home and had a nap. Yeah, I was. Is that normal? Yeah, well, I think you were relaxed. It does bring you into a nice state of relaxation yeah. and resonance. So yeah, I just really wanted to sleep. Maybe not you're coming in all frayed yeah. and your nervous system overworked and yeah. thinking about a million things at once yep. in this modern world that we live in. Yeah. And um, when you leave, you're all nice and relaxed and that generally can flow through for days and weeks afterwards. That must so be the reason I'm, I'm feeling actually, relaxed um, just hearing all this. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's but honestly, like, I, yeah. I thought, oh, you know, I'm just going to sit, listen, just listen to some music and I'll go home. <laughs> I did not expect to feel anything. Mm. I did not expect to feel relaxed. I did not expect to cry. So it was really um, surprising for me. Yeah. Like I'm the type of person that, okay, I'll give it a go. But I'm not, yeah. you know, I'm not going to get anything out of it. But mm. I did. So I'm one of those people that are sceptics. I've gone in and I've come out feeling relaxed. So I've released something. I need to do it again. I will be doing it again. I want my husband to do it actually because I think yeah. he'll be he'll benefit from it. A lot of women in there, no men. The men should do it. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get men to do any of this sort of thing. Yeah, thing, they really be should honest. because yeah. honestly. Yeah. Look, it look like it would be a benefit yeah. for male mental oh, health. Absolutely. It doesn't matter who you are. It does not matter who you are. It doesn't matter how old you are, mm. wh- what you do. You re- it, Honestly, you go in. Give it a go. Like You're not going to hurt yourself by giving it a go anyway, and that's what I was thinking. I'll just give it a go. But yeah. now I've seen that there's something else there. Yeah. There's something else there. Never so Never underestimate the power of spirituality. That's exactly right, Mo. And like I've, I'm very mainstream. I've always been brought up very mainstream. So mm. this to me is totally, totally out of the box for me. But I'm willing to give it a try because I, there's got to be something else out there. And there yeah. is. There is, right? So I've now – you haven't said a bloody word yet. I haven't stopped talking. I'm, <laughs> I get excited about talking about it. And it's so, probably the other way around. I know. <laughs> so now I've actually booked myself in to go on a retreat, a spiritual retreat for two nights with Deanne. Again, something totally out of the box for me. I'm, I'm going to be really nervous about going in, mm. but it's going to be, um, as you said, it was going to be transform, transform. It's going to be transforming. Is that the right word? Transformational. Transformational. Transforming, yeah. 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 Transitional. So I'm wondering what I'll get out of that. Mm. It'd be interesting. Yeah, that's yeah, it's beautiful, and it's interesting because I was thinking before I came in here, when we about our beliefs and our truths mm. and all that sort of mm. thing. Well, like you say, mainstream. Other people are very call it spiritual. Mm. I, I I prefer to use words like consciousness and awareness, okay, and resonance and that because spirituality people have got you know it's got a stigma to it with a lot of true, people. You true, know. true, true, but, but it is, yeah. And so, so you came into that, and uh, like you say, a little bit skeptical, yeah, right? And yeah, came in and said, yeah. "But yeah, I willing to." But give I was it a go willing to give curious. it a go. Yeah. Yeah. Other people go to things and get really excited and think this is going to do so much for no, them. No, you got to be totally and open-minded. that sort of thing. But if you can approach these things, because everything that we believe is true, is information that we've decided is true. Mm. Where did that information come from? And where did that person get it from? Yeah, and that person you're questioning get it from? things. Where, yeah. did the, where is the origin of that information? Mm. So if you're willing to um, try these things out and have what I like to call curiosity without bias. Okay. That's, so last that's, time yeah. you did it, you were sceptical. This time you got something out of it and you're yeah. going into the going, oh, I'm, you're going to be more curious about okay. it. And so therefore you'll probably naturally open yourself up more to more experiences. Okay. When it happens, mm. you know, because you've already had a yeah, an experience, yeah. and it's the same with meditation. And the beauty of sound immersions is for those who find it difficulty meditating, which is most people when they start, mm. 
is you just got to lay there, relax, and enjoy, and whatever that, happens. That's what happens. I did, and it, and it happened. Yeah. Thing, you know, it happened. And as I said, when you were walking around and you could feel the vibration through your body. So, what's the difference between an immersion and a bath? Uh, uh, the words are spelt differently. Oh, so it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, Can some you get... people call them sound healings. I don't like to do it because you do get healing out of it. Like you mm. had a bit of a, you had an emotional release there, yeah. right? Because our emotions, emotion, energy, emotion, oh. and it gets stuck in us. Yeah. And then we, you know, and I've done it myself years ago, we medicate ourselves for it. So then it's got no chance of coming out, mm. no chance of, because mm. we're electromagnetic beings okay. as human beings, you know. And what comes through that is the vibration, is the sound. Whether you can hear it or not, it's all, all Always vibration there. is sound. Yeah. Ultrasounds, where you go, they're ultrasound. It's a very high vibration yeah. that you can see things with. It is a sound. So mm. we're all in this universe from a scientific point of view, electromagnetic beings, right? Mm. Most things in the universe as we understand it now, which will change over years because science is always changing, is we're electromagnetic beings and what brings things to life is the vibration that goes through it. So, um, you know, we're, we're made of atoms that are 99.9999999% space. Wow. Are we not? Are we not it's made of just atoms? Unbelievable, isn't it? Right. What's one atom? Is also there's all this energy, all this space in there that I don't know that you have to understand and 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 intellectualize it and know about it all. No, because if something has an effect and it's good for you and you like that's it, that's all you need. Then, uh, as humans, we have got to know everything. We have got to know the reason for everything. But no. mystery is a good thing, I think. I don't think I want to know. I just want yeah. to have the feeling. I want to. I want to yeah. be able to feel better without knowing the scientifics behind it because I'm not very intellectual yeah. about that sort of thing. Well, that, would blow, that would be too much for me. It would take away yeah. the mystery and the excitement of it all, I think, if I knew too much. Yeah, so what I've found is that um, to do it from an energetic point of view, so you can, if you've got a bit of anxiety or depression or whatever or you're just uptight mm. and, and, and all stressed out, you can do things either through a narrative where you go and you talk to people and mm. counselling and that sort of mm. thing, or you can then understand that we are also energetic beings, not just our egoic minds, and you can try doing things energetically, which okay. doesn't require any narrative or thought no. whatsoever. No. It works on an energetic level. So that's what sound immersions and sound baths are. Can you do them, because as I said, you were walking around, so I only felt it when you were near me. Yeah. Can you do them more on a, a personal level? Can you get sound baths just for yourself? Yeah, sure. You can because that way you'd be baths. feeling it all the time. Then you, then you have, you know, you have all the bowls over yeah. different chakras and that sort of thing. And, I um, might try that. Yeah, yeah, give, give that a go for sure. But, yeah, and... Like you said, you could feel the vibration in the floor. You could feel the vibration yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I think that's when I came around with one of the healing bowls. Yeah, like through my, my yeah. fingers because I had my hands out like this. I could feel yeah. it come running through my fingers and I could, from because the floor. Because you were open to it. Yeah, see? yeah. Normally, if you just walked in and I'm your normal so glad. stress that stayed, yeah. you would have sat there and went, oh, what what's the going on? Yeah. <laughs> but because you prepare and you know what's going to happen yeah. and you lay down and relax yeah. and allow yourself to relax and allow the energy to I love the feeling of it. I love the feeling of that vibration over me. So, yeah. so I think I'd better do a one-on-one -on -one yeah. type thing because I really want to be able to feel that through me. And I, it actually makes you feel – I'm not even sure the right word. I'm, not, I'm trying to think of a word that made me feel totally, just totally not uncomfortable in any way whatsoever. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was satis satisfying is not, not the right <laughs> word either. <laughs> Different vibration. But – um, yeah, balanced, balanced maybe, maybe, sort of maybe har in harmony with everything. Maybe sort of that's what it was. I don't know yeah. what it was, so that's why I'm having a trouble finding the word. Mm. But so, it, out of peak curiosity, Al, so I'd interrupt Mish. No. What is it? What is it exactly that you do with these things? Like, what's the idea? Okay, well, everyone is different. Of all the sound immersions are different. The mm. lovely Donna Shima did the last one mm. with me and did one with me before. And I like to co-create uh, with, with sound immersions, but I sometimes do them by myself as well. So then you get two different energies coming in. Donna came in and did a meditation while I play guitar. So what I do is I get myself in a meditative state and then – the energy that comes through me, I then give out to everyone in the audience. So everyone that's there is probably the easiest way to explain it because we are 
energetic beings. Yeah. That's and that beautiful. Comes through, comes through the music and the vocals and the bowls. Mm. And when mm. I go around with the bowls, I'm giving a little, uh, how can I put it, a little shot of love to everyone mm. as I'm going around and just letting the energy go through and different people get different experiences yeah. out of it. Um, some people have quite, you know, some people have been doing these things for years. So I guess they might have a, they want to shift some energy or other people just like the fact that it's just a beautiful, mm. a beautiful experience, a really beautiful sound and everything. Um, and <clears throat> they just enjoy the experience and end up feeling nice and relaxed, relaxed afterwards. Yeah, yeah. That's honestly um, beautiful. And I'm actually kind of considering yeah, going to one of, one of your shows you then in the future. And, um, and just another question, um, when did you sort of get into this kind of thing? Yeah, I was going to ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. Well, it's been a, a long journey, I guess. I got into Buddhism and started meditating about 20 years ago. Wow. And did it on and off and, and didn't take it all that seriously really till about seven years ago. I got into people like Eckhart Tolle and then Joe cool. Dispenza and Matt Kahn and all these uh, – spiritual teachers, and recently more Deepak Chopra and others. But I've been a musician for many years. So I, what would I call it? I, call, I do call it an awakening. I've had a few awakenings where for me, and it's different for everyone, for me it was activating my pineal gland. You can look that up on the internet. Yep. <laughs> but what that, what that means is that you have access to all this beautiful energy from from different realms and dimensions and that sort of thing. and. So then I started doing the Monday night community circle, with which Deanne, Deanne started, mm. and I started doing meditate. That's where I started doing meditations and sound oh, stuff okay. about eighteen months ago. So I haven't been doing it that long. Okay, and um, <clears throat> then I took over the circle for a while. So and being slack, I couldn't find facilitators and stuff. So I ended mm. up doing it myself. A lot of yeah, as you do. <laughs> and because everyone's there, you know, as a community, it was. Mm. Um, so I guess I built it up from there, and then meeting beautiful people that I do that I do the sound immersions mm. with, mm. Um, and being having been to a few myself and feeling what mm. happens myself mm. as a musician, it was a natural curiosity and progression to to get into this okay. and to get, do this. What started happening at the Monday night circles were, for example, one woman said, "I couldn't hear what you were saying, but I could feel it in my chest." Because she didn't, her hearing wasn't very good. Okay. I'm going, oh wow, and because and, and I'm, you know, yeah. And then learning how to doing energy work, which is I won't go into no, into no. that, but um, being able to draw energy into me and out of me, and it's it's practice like anything, you know. Mm. So it's like when you walk into a room and people have been arguing, you can feel oh, the tension gosh, in the air, yeah, right? Can you ever? That's energy. Yeah. So True, yeah, there are ways yeah. to direct that and to harness that mm. and to draw it in and to give it out. Mm. So um, I actually went yeah. to the Rotary Markets a couple of weekends ago and someone came up to me and said, oh, hi, you're Miss from IPA, which I get all the time now. Yeah. And I didn't know her, but she knew me. And she, her husband was standing next to her and we were talking about, um, I think it was me going to your salmon immersion. Oh, that's Al. And the husband said, he saved my, Al saved my life. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Isn't that beautiful? And that was the Very husband. Very beautiful. Oh, really? So I, ha yeah. I think he goes to your circles. Okay. I can't remember his nice. name now. Yeah. Um, I wish I remembered, but, yeah, he, he meant he definitely said, Al saved my life. Yeah, it's really nice when you get feedback like that mm. from people mm. and it it's a two-way thing. It makes me feel good to do it mm. and people feel good mm. receiving it mm. and it takes, takes yeah. both. Yeah, well, there you go. And then, of course, I go and do things where people are, I'm receiving and people are giving yeah, as well. Yeah, so yeah. it's a good idea to do both if you can. I feel like know? I'm doing that at the radio. Yeah, well that, that's I'm a different way I'm always learning. Doing that. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. always learning about yeah. myself. I'm learning about other things, which is always great. It's always good to learn anyway. But yeah, yeah. the fact that he said, oh, that'll save my life. Yeah, it was oh, just beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it's really great. Uh, yeah. Really, really good to hear that you yeah. get good um, feedback from yeah. it. Um, and just another question. Um, since you say you're a musician too, um, do you. um? Do any music or you do music out of the uh, thing that you do? Like have you made like a song or recorded stuff, et cetera? You need to follow yes. Al. <laughs> I, 
You have a thing called divine masculine feminine energy, and I'm in my feminine energy way too much. I'm always creating Same here, lots I of, can lots definitely of relate. <laughs> Coming from someone that is going for a gender crisis at the moment, I can 100% relate to you, my friend. <laughs> there you go, yeah. So you understand fully, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm always creating and doing things. I've got lots of things to do, but getting that crowd into organisation is a bit difficult. So yeah, I'm a musician. I'm playing tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday at various venues, uh, playing the pubs and stuff. And I've done an album a few years ago, and I'm practising to do another one at the moment. Awesome. More late, later songs, which are a bit more of a spiritual message mm. of what's, mm. what's going on in the world. You need to follow Al on Facebook because you'll be able to see where he's coming up. I unfortunately don't have Facebook. Oh, you don't? Does he, do oh, you have cool. Instagram? Uh, no. <laughs> I only have Instagram for social media. But I'm on Spotify and Apple Music. Oh, there you go. I will definitely you research you. You're on YouTube, I think. And YouTube, yeah. Yeah, look yeah. at YouTube. I'll give you the details. Yeah, I'll definitely research you and look it's more into you. <laughs> You well, need. I'll get what I can get, you yeah. know. Yeah, no, it's really good. So yeah, it's really it's nice to get feedback, isn't it? Though it is. It's beautiful, yeah. And I think, yeah, I think it's really good. So that that was really nice. Yeah. Um, there's you've got a beginners meditation. I'm I'm going to come to one of those. My yes. timing hasn't been right lately. It's so a Wednesday night. Yeah. Not every Wednesday. For, is it fortnightly? Uh, or not no, necessarily. Well, only certain weeks at the moment because yeah. I've got other stuff to do. So next Wednesday 13th. we're doing a song circle. The next, I'm coming on the 13th yeah. of September. Uh, yes, that's yeah, the next I'm one. coming on that one. Yeah. So that Mo, there's a, a a free beginners meditation. So you learn how yeah. to, to meditate right. with with our same space. It's in Rocking mm. uh, Rocking Safety, Safety Bay, Yacht, Bay Club. Yacht Club. What a beautiful, beautiful spot that venue. is. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, I'll definitely come to yeah. one of those one night all day, whatever. It's a Wednesday yeah. night, um, seven. Uh, seven o'clock. Yeah, I do a little bit of instruction and talk about mm. meditation, and then give some tips, and then we go through a few little practice meditations. Mm. Mm. And um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. So the thirteenth. Yeah, yeah I've been um going through some. I'm not uh, sorry. I'm um, speech padding can be pretty bad sometimes, but I'm um doing this thing now where I love where I try to do things to challenge myself, and yeah, I think that great. would be a perfect place to go to, you know, just to get challenge Something myself different. and get out of my comfort zone and my bubble, so. Yeah, so do you do the bed thing, like you take your own lay down and uh, same thing? A few of them, no, they're all sitting on chairs this time because oh. actually they came in and everyone brings in all their yeah. yoga mats and everything to lay down. And then you said and I was I sitting down. And I said to them last time, I said, well, when you see statues of the Buddha meditating, is he laying down or sitting never, up? Never, never. <laughs> so you made him all sit on the chair. I'm not sure if I could relax and on quite the often chair. it is. If it's a relaxation meditation, yeah, but the the difficulty when you're laying down is you can tend to fall asleep. I'm, I, swear fall asleep did. I swear someone did. I swear someone did because I swear someone's snoring. Yeah, because you can hear them snoring. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so Which third, makes it, nice and relaxed, it is so nice. Cool. It is nice, but they're missing yeah. out on the vibration yeah. part, you know. And the, well, no, they're not well, because oh, okay, subconsciously you have you have psychoacoustic mm. where you hear the music comes in through your ears mm. and then goes through your brain and then all through your nervous system because you've heard it okay. and your brain processes it. And then you have what's called vibroacoustics, which works on a cellular level and goes through. Because remember, we're made of atoms. Yeah, yeah. That are yeah. ninety-nine point. So, so you may not feel it. Well, you do. You can feel some music. Mm. So it goes through you on a cellular level and on a Bloody on an atomic hell. level. So while you're asleep, it's still still doing. So stuff. so yeah. do you do you believe in um, listening to meditative music while you're sleeping? If yeah, you do that, oral beats in particular. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to get. I. I I've downloaded some stuff because you told me about that. On YouTube, you can buy I love beats. tribal. And nature music. And nature, and Whatever yeah. it is that makes you feel for I like listening people. to the rain on the tin roof. Yeah, probably not heavy metal when you're trying no, to No, not heavy metal. But, um, I, but I like tribal. I like the drum. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I love the flute. Yeah, those bongo drums. They're really yeah. cool, aren't they? Yeah, the, fl- the um, Indian flute was, was awesome. Yeah, because I did music- love that. Music and sound are so powerful for, mm. forever. For tradition, all churches have got a band. Yeah, right. yeah, all, it's true. all religious institutions true. have have music associated. So the, all the, traditions they, they they give out their message through music. Yeah, that's right yeah. because it's so powerful. 
And yeah. you, if you think about music, instantly a song can make you feel happy. Well, it does. That's right? why my 80s makes well, it. it can actually relate. do the opposite. It can make you feel exactly. down and out. It can. So music can have a, an effect on you either way. Yeah, so yeah, you're right. I like to concentrate on it's the very, very um, positive very, very power, powerful, side of as you it. say. It's very powerful and it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's a, well, something that I'm going down. Yeah. I'm also wanting to go see a naturopath. That's my next thing mm. because I want to try and get off chemical stuff. I'm not going yeah. to do that straight away, obviously, because I need them, but I want options. Yeah. There's got to be something else outside that mainstream thinking, mm. and that's that's all I know. Yeah, well, sometimes in order to get out, sorry to interrupt, sorry to, um, but um, sometimes in order to get out of your comfort zone, you do have to get off the mainstream yeah. and out of your bubble for a bit, like. Yeah. If, if if it's harm if it's something harmless too, like if yeah. it's, if it's harmless and it's not hurting anybody, exactly. then definitely exactly should get get out. And of you the know mainstream. what? You might find the best thing ever for yourself. You let, let's let's just say that we're going to find the best thing ever that we mm. wish we had done forty years ago. That's what I'm waiting for. Something that I should have done forty years ago yeah. that's going to change my not my life, but change the way I. I am in this world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, to change that, I guess, from a philosophical point of view, you have to go into the unknown. That's, that's, and that's all, what I'm doing. If all we do is keep repeating what we know and what we've yep. done all our lives, yeah. then and that's it's, exactly just, me. it's just reasoning that the same is going to happen, exactly isn't it? exactly so me. This thing's called surrender. You surrender to what is. You you um, move into the unknown, you know. Mm. And that's so, so what me. that does is bring up. We live in a fear-based society, you know. Mm, we make sure so, of that. But when you start facing these little fears, because they're all in our head, they're not, mm. not, they're not real. They're they're in our. That's head. what we're told. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know, they're, they're things that we have that are. I mean, look at the news and everything. It's 95, 98% fear-based. Yeah, I don't watch it for that reason. Right? Yeah, that reason. I mean, that's why I don't so, watch the news either. And it's been like that for many years. And mm. look at all your, a, lot of your, a lot of your shows on TV are yeah, as well. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and all that sort of thing. So we've been – had all this fear forced upon us for many generations. Very much so. Exactly. Right? But there is – you can find freedom from that. And, mm. of course, doing meditation and mm. sound immersions and that, mm. you, start, you start getting into a nice state where – you're just enjoying this present moment. Yeah. You're not thinking about the past. That's what I need to you're do. You're not thinking about the future. That's my problem. Because the past is depression. The future is anxiety. And I've got both. Right? <laughs> yeah. And you can have anxiety about what's happened in the past. Yes. <laughs> so know. I need to be the present. But and, yeah. In this well very said. moment here, there is no problem. We're sitting here, you know, just talking. Mm. And mm. so the more that you can try and get into that beautiful present moment right now. Yep, 100%. And be aware of your thoughts and be mm. aware of, of – um, like I was having a bit of a low vibrational day, I call it today, but then I feel those emotions because then it's our reaction to them. As soon as you start feeling a bit of anxiety or feeling down or sadness or whatever, one, you want to find a reason for it, mm. but two, and two, you react to it and go, I don't like this, mm. where it's a beautiful book by David Hawkins called Letting Go. It's a beautiful practical technique of, of letting go of emotions because, but if you just sit there and feel it, yeah, Within a short amount of time, it goes away and gets replaced by something. We're supposed to feel all these things. Okay, yeah. We're not supposed to be happy all the time. Yeah, and, and yeah, although yeah. you can go on that trajectory where yeah. where you're pretty peaceful and happy and grateful mm. for life. That would be nice, It's a beautiful it? existence, isn't yeah, it? It would be, wouldn't here. it? Wow. <laughs> and since you made up that fantastic point, it, this will be the perfect opportunity to ask this question to as well, but – um. A bit, it may be a bit of a silly question, but I'll no, ask no anyway. But um, with with doing all this work, do you feel that you've um sort of found your inner peace from from all this? And you and have you had people that would tell you that they found their inner peace while doing this? Oh uh, yes, regularly. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> there you go. Regularly, the way that I react to things now. So instead of reacting, you can. You, you can respond to things because we re react in an emotional way to things. I still do. Mm. But then I either still do and then I realise within a short amount of time and then you can respond to it or you get good at doing it and you don't react, you respond. And <clears throat> it's like someone who, you think of an analogy, if you if you get right into fitness, right, and then, you, and then you're in between doing all that fitness work, mm. you're fit. So you've got a lot more energy, mm. you're healthy, mm. you're all that sort of thing, right? Mm. It's the same with meditation and various practices that people like to do is it, it, 
it ends up um, infusing through the rest of your day. So you feel more peaceful than you normally do. You mm-hmm. don't get upset by things as easily. You don't worry about things. You know that whatever will be will pass. You're very relaxed. You know, so, You're very um, calming. Have you always been like that? No. I kind of <laughs> – you're very calming. Not a, I used to be a union delegate in HSR Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Carrying on. And, no, I actually saw a picture no. of you the other day on a mine site. Yeah, that, that was – This does not fit. Ago, yeah. does not fit. No. Um, but I find <laughs> you extremely relaxing and, and um, calming. Do you find um, our calming? I, I really do. And um, I, from what I've got, out of this interview today, he's been pretty chill, and I'm been sort of like relaxed, yeah, and, yeah. and a bit in a in a happy place now, hearing all this. Yeah. So I'm glad I um barged into your show today, <laughs> and I can get pretty this, much did too. Sto- get these stories and get this feeling. Like I'm feeling yeah. like rather relaxed. I don't know if I'm going to start crying oh, and stuff no. like that, but. <laughs> Like, oh, has that effect on you? Mo, if you want to cry. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, but I'm saying I don't know whether I'm. Go- I don't know if I'm going to start crying like Mish did on one of your shows. But yeah, um, I did. It is. Um, but it, I, I have been pretty relaxed, and my mind has just been empty. Like I've mm-hmm. just, mm-hmm. I'm just in this headspace at the moment, and yeah, it's yeah, good. It's, it's good a good, good place hear. to be. It's, it's, it's I, I find, I find out you be very comfortable around i feel safe around you yeah i feel pretty safe too mm, when i I'm, do feel safe and, and all and all the nervous energy too because you know i get a bit of nerves especially mm. talking to people all, all the nerves have just like washed away like Aww. it's drained out of me that's like lovely. I'm, I'm feeling relaxed that's lovely so mo you need to go and do a meditation i'm doing one on the 13th of september with yeah. our, but we'll, i'll send you the information oh and in fact let's talk about how people do get hold of you and, and get hold of these yeah. all these courses. Just remember with meditation, it's like when you go to a new job, you're all stressed out and that because mm. you don't know how to do anything. Mm. Yeah. Within a few months, you're at ease in that job, you know. So you've got to when do more When you first once. started radio compared yeah. to now, oh, for God, example. Oh, God, yeah. So horrible. meditation, people go and do it once, go, I couldn't stop thinking. Or, but there's so many different forms. Uh, sitting on the beach, watching the waves is med- and just One of my absolute favourite things well, there to you go. do. That's meditation, you know. I love using imagination and that sort of stuff. Media, so, media. Yeah portrays meditation as being completely empty of any thought. Yeah. That's how I, That's how a lot of people who don't understand see meditation and that's what they expect when they go and do meditation. That's if they right. don't get that, they'll go, well, that doesn't work for me. Yeah. I've done that. I've tried and I've gone, oh, that doesn't work for me because I haven't emptied my mind. But yeah. it's because I'm expecting something that may not necessarily happen. So what we did last week at the at- – it was about the breath because the breath is so important. Mm. If you can just sit there and concentrate on your breath and nice, mm. easy, beautiful breaths, that's the main tenet of meditation. So, mm. But what we also did after that was I got them to watch their thoughts, not try and stop them, just mm. notice them, mm. right? So, And when they noticed and they got went away in their thoughts, I said, well, and when you remember, just come back to your thoughts and don't judge yourself because you, mm. we have sixty to 80,000 thoughts a day, mm. so you're not going to be able to stop them. No. You know, straight away or at any length of time, mm. actually. <clears throat> and but what happens is when you watch your thoughts carefully, and you and you can concentrate on that and get that concentration going, you will get these tiny little gaps in between thoughts of no thought. Mm. You won't notice them. But they'll they start. They'll start happening, and they'll get bigger. And then I get maybe if you meditate lots. So at one stage, I went crazy on meditation. Was doing four or five hours a day, and Jeez. a minimum of two hours a day for quite some time. Wow! And then I got all this euphoria and beautiful feeling, you know. Wow! And that's what's kept me. I don't meditate anywhere near as much now. Mm. And there's different types, all different types. You got guided meditations. You can just sit there in silence and and analyze what's going on in your life from a nice peaceful mm. sort of thing. Mm. Mm. You know, just sit there and wait for things to come through you. Thoughts. And, when Donna was doing yeah. the uh, meditation at the sound immersion that I went to, she was talking about. Um, grounding and the earth and, and our feet in the sand. Yes. And I was literally visualising myself putting, rubbing my toes through the sands and then stepping into the, the ocean and feeling the ocean around my feet. That's how I was trying to, to get into that moment. Yeah. And, and that was help, help, help me. And that's a good point. Imagination, to me, mm. is key to meditation. I love oh, right. using the imagination. Okay. When we were kids, we used to use our imagination all the time. Yeah. Now, even now we do, but it's – 
it's been structured, it's been conditioned to us. Oh, what's going to happen today? Oh, there, and, and there's a, a fear-based imagination there. Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't fe- – how could you fear anything if you didn't have imagination? That's right. So yeah, to, to come yeah. back to that beautiful childhood imagination that you had and use it in beautiful, positive ways in meditation, mm. and when you get deep into meditation and then you imagine, like in your dreams, mm. right, at the time when you're dreaming, you believe it, yep. right? <coughs> yeah. So that's what manifestation is, is getting deep into meditation, imagining, believing you're there Mm. and and manifesting it that way. I found that better for me because if I wasn't doing that, I'd be thinking about the thousands of other things that were going on in my mind. I had to take myself away from all that. Yeah. And, and see myself standing on the ocean. So you ocean. consciously <coughs> put yourself into that beautiful state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And that, yeah. That's, that's beautiful because yeah. if you've got the choice and you know you've got the choice, mm. I'm going to sit here and worry about this and that and the other and what I'm going to do, or actually I'm going to imagine sitting on a beautiful beach with my feet lapping in the waves yeah, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. You immediately bring yourself to a beautiful that's place. That's exactly what, what I was doing. What more? <laughs> Yeah. It's a beautiful thing exactly. to do. Exactly. That's what I was doing. So yeah. that, that's interesting. So I was doing the right thing for me then. Yeah, that's so good. tap into that beautiful imagination yeah. that you have. Yeah. That, that as a kid, you know, we, yeah. we had it everywhere and it Forget how to slowly use it. gets sort of squashed out of us it to does. bring that, that beautiful childlike mm. imagination back in meditation. That's beautiful. It's, 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 it's definitely something I'm going to go down that track. So yeah. I'm going to be definitely pursuing that. And seeing how I go with that because mm. I definitely need that. Um, so anyone out there who's interested, um, check. Out. How did they get hold of you on Facebook? Uh, my Facebook page is L Muir Music and Meditation. So that's just A L M A L M U I R L Muir Music and Meditation. Yeah, and I have all my events up there. Yep. Next Wednesday, I've got Sound Circle, which is uh, song, sing. No, that's a singing one. Singing circle that put me off a bit. I think. Oh, yeah. God. Well, and the so, the reason why it puts a lot of people off is we've been told since we're little kids to be quiet and oh, we've wow, had a beating wow. out of us, right, you know. When you're at school, you're constantly, you're not allowed to talk, you've got to sit yeah, there like a, yeah. how, how unnatural is it for a child to sit quietly in a chair for it's, six hours it's a day? It's impossible, yeah. It is just absolutely just squashing the humanness out of you. Yeah, and, yeah. and with that comes the voice, you know. We feel small, we feel everything. So tell me about this, this singing. So we don't. you don't have to be a professional singer? No, certainly not. It's so all what is about it? It's just sound, together. isn't it? I'm doing it with my friend Lauren Maslin, who's got a beautiful voice. Mm. I do uh, sound immersions with Lauren as well. Uh, coming together and we're doing a song called the Israel Song. She just goes, lie, 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 lie. You know, there's not a lot to it. Yeah. But we teach it and we all sing together, right? So mm. instead of sitting there worrying about someone's going to hear me or singing, we all sing together. We all create a beautiful, safe space for each other. That sounds nice, And actually. we all get together and that then that energy builds. And as you sing, you know what it's like when you sing by yourself and you're really happy and free mm, and stuff, you mm, sing, right? Mm. But then if all of a sudden someone's you see someone's listening and watching you, what do you do? Mm, shut shut up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, shut down and contract. Yeah. So this is what it's about. It's about getting from that shut down So do you get to a crescendo? And, and come out, yeah, yeah, and come out and expand and be happy okay. and cheerful. So all right. That's the basics of it, really. Yeah, I'll give uh, that they're a They're medicine go as well. songs too, so they have an... Uh, have a beautiful effect on you, like a meditative effect. Yeah. A bit like the sound immersions as All well. Right. Interesting. So I might have to give that a go as well then. Doing that next Wednesday and then another sound immersion next Saturday. Yes. Yeah, which I'm doing with Lauren as well. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. She's, no, you're so busy. Hey, yeah. You're so damn busy. So busy, so busy man busy. you are. You too are. Busy right now. Yeah, you might have to I'm just. Not, no, I'm not too busy. I love what I do, but. Um, You've got to, yeah. St- it does. It stresses me out a little bit. I might meditate like so I still get stressed out. Yeah. Because uh, you've got to do ticketing and events oh, and then of promote course. It's all the and back all that stuff. sort of stuff. Yeah, Whereas that's true. When I play music in pubs, I get the email off my agent and yeah, I go there. and do them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> it's a lot easier. That's true. Look, we're going to have to end there. I could talk yeah. to you for hours and, and days as, as always. Um, and you know, Al, that you're always welcome to come back anytime. Because we've got, always got something to talk about. Yes. And so maybe next time I could talk to you, I would have already been to your meditation. That would be good. Yeah. And then we can talk about that. Yeah, sure. That's a really good idea. So that's yep. the 13th of September. It's the day before my birthday. So we can, yeah, I'm doing the 13th. That would be good. Mm. And um, if you want to pop on, pop up, pop up. Pop on my show, which I'll be doing every Saturday starting from next week from 6 to 9 p.m. You, can, you are more than welcome to as well. 
And you're sure, you're talking Saturday you're talking or, about you, yeah because yeah, usually he's playing at a pub somewhere. But most your show's about um anxiety autism. Yeah, autism benefits. Yeah, yeah it's just an yeah. autism benefit show where I'll be talking about my experience with autism and stuff like that. Yeah, it'll be great because I'm also LGBT. I might get into my yeah. queer experiences as well, I but it'll be mostly so. be autism benefit. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Oh, beautiful, mate. Yeah, beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So thank you so much, Al. Always welcome to come in. I always love having you here because you, you relax me. I, sometimes I come in here on a Friday and I really don't feel like coming, but I do bounce out at the end of the day anyway because I've listened to my music because it's therapy, remember? But you know what the music funny thing is? Music is always the mm. best therapy. When I talk about this stuff, I get this wave of relaxation coming over me Oh, as well. wow. So it's a two-way thing. Yeah. There you go. It's the vibration that we're yeah. giving out. Yeah, we're, at the moment, we're all sharing our vibes. And we are, and it's good vibe. And that's why I call my show Good Vibrations. That will never exist again. Da, 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 it's a da, da, unique good experience. Good Vibrations. So, that's yeah. it. That's it. So we'll go, I'm going to go into um, a song that has the word beautiful in it, and Lovely. it's Beautiful by Jessica Malboy. So thank you again, Al, and I will catch up with you soon.